So for my athletes that want to play college football, I need y'all to listen to the story that Coach Prime is telling about a walk-on athlete at Colorado State. Real quick before we listen to Coach Prime, if you're an athlete that wants to play college football or even another sport, go ahead and lock in and hit that subscribe button. At the walk-on coach, man, we do field work drills. We lift weights. We talk about how to get a walk-on trial. And we even get into success after the sport is over with. Now, let me tell you a story about walk-ons. We, uh, we have a guy that uh, wanted to get close to our program so bad that he joined uh, the camera team, video, video team, <coughs> just for opportunity. He said, I, I, I just got to get near it. I just got to get near it because there wasn't no more walk-on spots left because we, we, you know, we were busting through the seams with personnel. And lo and behold, a couple guys had kicked off because of grades and stupidity, and uh, he got a chance to walk on. And I'm looking down there, you know, I positioned myself in the middle of the field because we got offense going on, defense going on, and we just going full speed. We don't stop. Everything's full speed at practice. And I see this kid just hitting it. Man, who does this look at? The walk on. They said, he's a walk on. I said, what? All right, put him on another field tomorrow. So, you know, we, we let him get into third rotation in the backs. And uh, dressed out, didn't, didn't get in. I don't think he got in the first time, mm -hmm. first game. And he kept busting his butt. And when do you know it? First play of the game, starting back goes down. Next play, I think the other guy went down. And then he had to go in. He rushed for about a buck 30. And the rest is history. Uh, we gave him a scholarship, I think, several weeks later. Um, and uh, it's history. So we reward walk-ons. Woo! I love that story, man. And I, I really like Coach Prom. That freaking walk-on, man. That was a very creative and patient way to get to his goal. If you watch my other videos, I talk about how getting a walk-on trial is not always as easy as reaching out to a coach or following the team on social media and boom, boom, you get a walk-on trial. No. Like the example Coach Prom gave, the team was already full, so no matter how good you are, they didn't have any more space for walk-on athletes. Coach Prom just told this beautiful story of a walk-on in a minute and 30 seconds. But I guarantee you, that the walk-on's journey is way longer than a minute and 30 seconds. So I'm gonna play some chunks into this story. The first chunk I believe that is missing is there is no record there. He's not talking about how many times that walk-on was rejected. He's not talking about how many times the walk-on reached out by email, how many times the walk-on called, how many times the walk-on visited the coach's office just to get rejected multiple times before he realized, okay, this is not working. I'll have to figure out another route to get close to the team, just to get close to the team. Shout out to that walk-on's creativity for saying, I'm going to get on the camera crew just to get close. Now, another chunk of the story that might be missing, he does not say how long that guy had to sit on that camera crew and be patient. I'm just telling you this because it, there's so much patience involved and so much consistency involved. I just need you to understand and prepare yourself and be ready for that if that's the route you have to go. I hope not, but once again, I told you that's my experience. That's that guy's experience. So I'm pretty sure there are going to be some other situations where you may have to exercise that amount of patience. Moving on in the story, the walk-on makes the team and is now on scout team playing running back, and he is balling out. Deion Sanders says, oh, he's looking at the field and sees this guy balling out. What he does not say is how many practices, how many months this walk-on was consistent in doing that. I guarantee you Deion Sanders did not see him and say that the first practice that that walk-on was out there. It does not work like that. This walk-on had to be consistent and give his all every day. And one day, one day he stood out. That's one day Dion is talking about, but he is not talking about the many practices that this guy has been consistent. Then Coach Prime says, because he saw that walk on standing out, he said, you can dress out for game time. And he says, the first game he didn't play 
But then there was a game that the first string running back went down. He said there was a game. He didn't say the second game. So what I'm saying is he's not telling you how many freaking games this walk-on had to get loose, get hyped, get mentally prepared to play, but then end up sitting on that sideline the whole game. And I'm telling you from experience, that's rough to deal with to get yourself hyped up and be ready. You on you jumping on the sideline like, put me in the game, put me in the game, man. First quarter going by, second quarter going by, third quarter going by, and fourth quarter is going by, you're getting tight, and you're like, I'm not gonna play this game. He didn't tell you how many times the walk on had to deal with that and then go back to practice with a great attitude and be consistent again. Then there was a game that the walk-on finally gets in and he shows out. Beautiful. Once you get your opportunity, you have to show out. You have to, man. And I, like I said, I love the story, but I just wanted you to fully understand that this is not going to be a quick uh, story of success. It takes a lot of consistency, persistence, and patience to, to get what that walk-on got. We are completely and 100% real on this channel, and we put in work and we get better every day. So if, if that's what you want to do, if that's the type of community you want to be involved with, subscribe to the Walk On Coach and, and let's talk.